Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who, and I am back with another video. Can't reach out because y'all over there in the box. So today I'm gonna show y'all how the setup I'm gonna be running for my GoPro to Moto Vlog. I got my helmet right here, of course. What you're gonna need, and also you're probably see the back. My man Chase on two wheels. I'm actually following his setup on his helmet, how he did it. So basically, I ordered everything he has. I have a Scorpion helmet. He has like the new Atlas 2.0 helmet or something like that. I already dropped my helmet too, right there. Pissed me off. <laughs> Second. You're gonna need a special GoPro mount right here. If you don't know, to run a mic to your GoPro, you have to have that USB adapter, which is what I have. I use for all my other videos. So you gotta have a special case that has this ported area at the bottom. So here's your normal GoPro. And this bottom piece here allows you to slide like the USB adapter through that. You're gonna need to connect the microphone. So you're gonna need that. And I'll paste that below in the description. And you're also gonna need the piece you mount here to your actual helmet. So. Let me take this out for y'all so y'all can see. You're gonna need this. And probably like prefer the curved piece at there's two. You get a flat, you get a curve. You can see this has kind of like a curve to it. Um, reason being because most helmets are curved right here on that front piece. So it's gonna sit like that. Now, if you notice, know there's a space there. It doesn't really sit flush. So what helps keep that space? I'm gonna keep this intact. Chase used JB Well. I read everybody else and it's, everybody says you use Sergu. Is it, how you say it? Sergu. Sugru, something like that. Sugru, Sugru, everyone pronounce it. Apparently this stuff is great and a lot of people use this. This is like the new thing. So basically you're gonna take this and stick it to the back of this. I'll show you all that and put that on the helmet. This is how the GoPro setup basically is going to look. Now to get this look, what you're gonna need. So basically it's gonna be sitting just like this, nice and flush. You can see the camera, hope y'all can see that. Boom, just like that. What I have here, is basically these extension pieces I got from Amazon, you know, some Chinese made pieces. They're super cheap. They have two, they have vertical and they have horizontal. These are the vertical loops. So the holes are up and down as opposed to side to side. I actually had to order these because the one that came in my kit were horizontal and it didn't allow my GoPro to sit up. Everything was sideways. I have the long piece running straight down and then a smaller piece running over, back over the long piece so the GoPro can sit up like that. So I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Here's my long piece here. I have it running down, and then I have the short piece running back. Something like that. Like back, like that. So, and the GoPro is attached here. And then, according to Chase, I got the Purple Panda mic. I heard his mic is amazing. I'm not sure how much I paid for it. He said 30 in his video. I think I paid more than that. But apparently, this is a great mic that you're going to need to run your GoPro to your USB. So, that's everything you need right here. This video may be done over several days because one, I think you have to let this cure for like 24 hours before you can actually use it. I think it's 24 hours I read somewhere. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start and put that on. For my helmet, like I said, I'm gonna mount it right here. I have to be careful because my hair helmet comes with the breeze strap right there for airflow up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in a down position. That way I know I'm gonna probably mount it about right there. I'm gonna put it right in the middle, like square down the middle as I can get it, like right where my nose is. You're gonna get your Sugru, Sugru, however you wanna pronounce it. You do have different colors. This is black, my helmet is black. I have never used this before, so I'm curious to see what it looks like. Black, as you can see. Go ahead and peel off the back here, the 3M, like so. Then you're gonna take your Sugru, or whoever, Sugru, 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 however you wanna pronounce it. Tear it open. It's like a little putty, it's sticky. It won't even come out the plastic. This is what it looks like. Black poop is what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. You're just gonna take this, your sergu, and spread it on the back of this first. Basically, we're just gonna take it with our fingers and just mold it to the entire, cover the whole area back here. So, <clears throat> make sure you get those corners as well. You do not wanna lose a GoPro on a highway by riding a motorcycle, I'm sure. That was up. Okay, so. Something like this. This is what it's gonna look like. Something like that, right? Boom, you see it? So then we're just gonna go ahead and place it on our helmet. And this is where you just wanna be sure you place it in the right spot. And I'm gonna put mine, I'm trying to line it up perfectly. About right there. And then you just press it. Maybe let it hold for a second. Like press it, hold, push, give it a little pressure. And again, I think this has to sit for 24 hours. So I'm just gonna press about a minute. Some of it kind of came out of the side as I'm pushing down. You just kind of clean it up if you want to. Make it flat. 
Still pushing. So be careful what I just ran into. It was kind of blocking my nose piece where I vent for air. Yeah, it's kind of getting on there. So I probably should put it a little lower. It's okay. All right, guys, so as you can see, that's what the mount looks like. There's no more space now because the servo is basically filling that space. So got to let this sit for 24 hours, I believe is what it said, and before it's really cured on there. But um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit. I'll come back, mount it, make sure it holds, and then we're gonna do the, the Purple Panda mic install, which is gonna go through the helmet and all that stuff. Now, I'm interested to see, this is my first time set up a motorball helmet. So I'm interested to see how everything turns out. All right, guys, so my mount here, has finally adhered or cured, whatever you want to say it. I actually went riding today, this morning with it. Just mounted like that, just see how it hold up in it. Hold up pretty well, even though it have no weight on it. The GoPro is gonna attach like this. And it pops, nice click, so. This is how it's gonna look. So I want it, my help, your head is gonna be down like this, usually at an angle, so you don't want it pointing straight down. So I'm probably gonna just adjust this a tad bit to be more um, back so it sits more up, you know. But anyway, so that's how it's going to look, something like that. So to run the mic, you're going to need, you got to have this adapter. You don't have to, but the GoPro 8, you have this adapter. I'm probably going to run it this way, like that. So run it through here like that. Is this too small? Oh, it's the wrong side, that's why. There we go, almost there. Just pull it through, there we go. So boom, got my adapter in there. So my mic is gonna be running from this side, which I hate because I got all this stuff right here. I got that through and the GoPro will just sit in the housing. Now I'm gonna take, so I got the Purple Panda mic, which is supposed to be like the best mic that you can use for moto vlogging. Um, comes with some windscreen thingy, I forget the name of it. And here's the mic. Nice bag, actually. They give you a really nice bag. You get quite a bit of stuff. So you get these two, and then you get this one, and then you get this one. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna need all those. Hopefully not, because that's a lot of wire. But I plan on bringing it down here and probably running it um, down here and running it underneath the helmet. And so my mic, it's gonna basically wrap all the way around, and then my mic's probably gonna let out up here. Uh, inside by my, my cheek area. So I try to show y'all best I can. It's gonna be hard and holding the camera, but y'all get the point. Yeah, I'm confused on what the heck all this stuff is, but that's whiskey. But this, so this is all the pieces that came with it. Here you got this piece, you got this here, and then you got this, and you got the main. So, um, and it says here. It got laid out like for smartphones and for DRCL Zoom and then for GoPro 3, 4, and 3 plus and 4. So I guess I'm going to go here. Hero Under here it says Hero 6 requires GoPro mic adapter. So I guess I just need these two. I don't need this third one because the GoPro comes with one right here, as you can see. I think I just need to plug the mic in here on this side. I'm just going to try to go just the adapt this piece and... The uh, this is it. This should be all I need. I don't think I need these two. I don't think because this is a mini US adapter. I don't need an adapter. I got an adapter. I think it's just extra cords. So I think we should be good. So basically, guys, what it's gonna look like? That all the wire is basically gonna just tuck in, and it's just gonna basically run all the way around. This is just gonna run all the way back around and come to my mouth. I'm not sure if you guys see that. Pull some of this pad. Now, I'm not gonna try to do that because it's kind of gonna be hard for y'all to see anyway. And you can just easily snap out this. The inner pad in here snaps out, snapping in pretty easy. This will be a lot easier to do with a freaking helmet stand for sure. Okay. Just making sure those cords drop. Oh crap. I lost a little piece up in there, but I guess I don't need it anyway because <laughs> this is going in there. But that sucks to have that silver in there. I don't need that, take that off. So this is gonna be my mic. Let's see if I can find that freaking, oh, here it is, found it. This is how much cord I have left. So I'm just gonna reel this back in, just pull it back some more. It's probably gonna be jumbled up in the back of my head, but it's okay. 
So guys, as you can see, there's my mic right up in there, as you can see. So, that's it. I got it wired, I believe. Let's go ahead and try this thing on really quick to see, because this mic is right there. Let's see what this is like. Okay. So, that's how it looks to set up. The mic is touching my lip, um, like, like bottom of my mouth. So I'm probably gonna push it down a little bit more or put it back in to where it barely pokes out. Feels pretty good. Um, just gotta make sure it works. So we're gonna test this thing out. I'll show y'all what it sounds like here and y'all enjoy this clip. Not sure it's gonna be me talking or just me letting y'all hear the bike and the wind noise, things like that, so. close this vent here instead of having it open just so it won't get too much wind going right there where the mic is i want to show y'all a real quick tip man make sure you get this pushed all the way in as far as it goes i had mine sitting out about to here and i wouldn't get any audio you really have to push hard to get this to snap all the way in so just keep that in mind you why you think you got to snap push a little harder and it'll really snap we'll catch y'all next one peace